Hello and welcome to my channel. In today's video, I have for you a Goodwill Outlet Bins Thrift Haul. Here we go. Hello you all, I hope you're doing well. I have a Goodwill Outlet Bins Thrift Haul today. Last week I mentioned that the bins are $2.99 here in Chaska, Minnesota, $2.99 per pound. They're actually $2.49 per pound. So I just wanted to correct that. It's a little better than I thought. Not great compared to the $1.19 that they used to be <laughs> two years ago, but better than $2.99. On this day, I spent $15.16. I'll go ahead and show you what I got. So there was a ton of Halloween costumes. And if you need a costume for your child or you want to put one away for next year, now at the bins is the time to look because Goodwill does a big dump and get, gets rid of all their Halloween. I picked up three costumes. They're really just hats. And they are three of the seven dwarves. And the reason I got these, Chris and I like to have costume pieces to put on like when we hand out candy. And so that's just something we like to keep in the house. And I thought these would be funny. I got myself the one with the ears. So it's dopey because, you know, I'm a Star Trek fan. And that sort of reminded me of Spock ears. So that was fun. And then for Chris, I got him this one because I was like, oh, he could be grumpy because I'm always telling him he's turning into a grumpy old man. So I thought, oh, this will be perfect. He can be grumpy. And if he doesn't like that, if he doesn't want to be grumpy, I got sleepy as well. So he has a choice. He could always like walk around with like a teddy bear if he wanted to. So I thought those were cute and would be good for next year. Okay, two other things I got for my Halloween decor. You might have seen in a video on my home and garden channel, I showed I have like two other little spooky houses and they light up just like the department 56. So I got this one to add. I thought it was really cute. I like the details in the figures on here, like the little ghost. And I can't tell if that's focusing or not. It might be focusing on me. It's trying to focus on me. But anyway, you kind of get the gist. Uh, there's a mummy. So I thought that was cute. I don't love the roof. It's pink and glittery, but you know, it's okay. It's only going to be in my house for like three weeks out of the year. I can live with it. And the other Halloween item I got that had a total vintage vibe is this little gal. She's a jack-o'-lantern gal, and I thought she was really cute with the total vintage Halloween vibe going on. It's originally uh, from Michael's Ashland brand. If you've shopped at Michael's, you might recognize that. Goodwill was originally charging $3.99. These were probably like, this one was probably a little more. It's a little heavier. I would say this was probably two bucks. This might have been a buck. So not terrible. Okay, so that's it for Halloween. Then I also picked up this, which I love. So it's broken. I need to repair it, but it's just the wood split. I love these vintage nursery lamps. I have, this is my fourth one now, and I found all of them at the bins. I have one up there. It's like a giraffe and a little clown who's playing like a mandolin, a violin, I can't really tell, some kind of stringed instrument. And then I have a Bambi one, which I adore. Oh my goodness, I love my Bambi one. And then I have a little fisherman and this is, is it Tom Sawyer? Is it Tom Sawyer that painted the fence, that whitewashed the fence? I can't remember. I'm sorry to all the English teachers out there. I'm forgetting my literature. But anyway, I thought that was really cute. And this will be staying here with me. I do have, I think I have a shade for it in my garage. Okay, I picked up a few items for the pink elephant. That's where I have a booth and I sell things. I got this little tiger guy. He's in really good shape, Beanie Baby. These are not worth a ton, but I like to keep them there because the kids like to buy them. And I've just sold like two or three of them, so I need to restock. And he was in really good shape. He's from 2000. There's his tag. And his original name or her is India. And then I like to keep items at the Pink Elephant that pe people can buy as Christmas gifts, like not just Christmas stuff, but things they can give as gifts. So I picked up two purses. There's this one. I thought it was so pretty. This is really nice beadwork and it's heavy. Like this is really well done. And the strap is in terrific shape, really not worn at all. And the inside is also super clean. So I thought this will make a nice gift for someone. So I got that. And then I also, along the same lines, got this one. This one is new with tags. And here's the, has a little horse emblem. 
And then for a horse lover, I thought this would be perfect. And if we open it up, you can see that the zipper pull has never been unwrapped. And the strap is also in here, wrapped still. So it's a brand new bag. I thought that was great. And I think those will make really nice gifts for someone. I also picked up this shirt. I don't usually do the clothing, but because there was so little in the hard goods, I was like, eh, let me take a peek. So I found myself a flannel. I've really been wanting a flannel. The only one I have is like a jacket flannel, which is too warm most of the time. So I like this one and I like the color. I like navy. It looks nice with my skin and my hair. So I got that and that's like probably, probably not even a dollar would be my guess. And I also got this. I love this. You know, I love rustic decor. And this is made so that you can hang it on a wall. So I could hang it on a wall and put plants in it. I could put books in here. If I wanted to display records. Sorry, if you hear noise, it's our garbage truck. Anyway, I could put records in here if I wanted to. I could put magazines, decorative items. I thought it was really cool and I didn't want to leave it behind. So that was a really fun find. Okay, so that's all that I have for my Goodwill outlet haul, but several of you have expressed interest in seeing some of my collections. So last week I shared my Raggedy Ann and Andy collection. This week I want to share a little collection I keep on my dresser. It's vintage compacts. And I'll show you how I have them displayed first, and then I'll go through them more close up so that you can see them a little bit better. So let's go ahead and get into that. Here is my dresser. Yes, I have a Christmas tree on it, and that pretty much stays there all year. And it comes on and off on a timer along with this lamp. They come on. Now we've just set them back. They come on around 5, and they go off at like 10.30. And... In the summer, obviously, they come on a lot later because it doesn't get dark till like 10 o'clock here. But here's the collection I wanted to show you. And I will take the pieces out, but I just kind of wanted to show you how I have them displayed here. So I have this old mirror tray. And then I love to find these glass boxes. So actually, that's another collection that you'll kind of see as a result of seeing the compacts. And in this one is where I keep all the little compacts. I don't have a ton of them because if you find them in a vintage shop, they're usually really pricey. This one I got recently, which I'll take it out and show you for a steal. It was like $3, but usually, I mean, this one would probably be like $30. I got it from someone, it belonged to her grandma and she gave it to me, but I never would pay the prices that they want you to pay. I'm just, I'm not that kind of collector. I collect on the cheap. So let's go ahead and we'll take a look, you know, an up close look at some of these pieces. And real quick, I want to show you, I've shown this on Instagram. Let me see if I can get it to focus. There it is. So this is my mom and my grandma. My mom is on the right, the little girl. My mom had polio. So these are some of the few pictures that I have of her before she had polio. And this is my mom and my grandma and my grandpa. And that's in North Carolina. That's where my mom was born. Whoop, there we go. We're back to focus. Okay, so let me grab these items so that I can give you a more in-depth look at some of them. Here is the little glass box from my dresser. And... So this one, it's not really a compact, it's just a little container that blush was in. But I think I got this for like three bucks at Hopped Market. That's that little antique market I go to, Jamie and Robin every now and again. This one I bought at an antique store in Victoria, Minnesota a few months ago. So it says Princess Pat, Chicago. Squaw, and then you open it up, and there's your little powder puff and what's left of the makeup. And then, let's take that out for a second. This is actually, my friend Clay told me what he thinks it is, is that a lady would have put a cotton ball soaked with her favorite perfume in there. These are more popular in like the Victorian age. And then you'd clip it on like your waist belt and then you'd have your scent. I don't know if it was, if you rubbed it on yourself at all during the day or if it was just to like give off a pretty smell, I'm not sure. If you know more about that, you can let me know. 
And then the compacts, I have this one. This is from my friend's grandma. You can see it's missing the stone, but that's fine. And then open it up. That mirror is loose. I need to reattach it. Here's the powder puff. So this looks like it was never used. And then under here would have been the makeup. So I'm guessing you would buy makeup to put in here and you could refill it. Very sustainable. Really pretty with the little wishbone detail. And then this is my favorite. I love this one. It's so pretty with that little rose. And the enamel is on both sides, which is nice. And then you open it up. So there's your powder puff. Again, this one doesn't... Well, maybe she used it a little bit. Not much, though. It's so tiny. And then you pull that. Volupte USA. Volupte USA. And there's the makeup. And then I have this one. Really pretty. Totally looks like CoverGirl. It's actually Estee Lauder. But that does not look like a CoverGirl puff. This one was never used. Youth Do Powder Compact. After months of research. There's the paper. Ah, there we go. And there's the powder. And again, it looks like it's refillable, which is nice. So that is my, my little collection of compacts. I just love them. And they sit on my dresser and look pretty. Oh, and here's, this is a brush. I don't actually know what you would have used this for if it, cause it, I, I mean, I want it to be like a, a blush brush, but it's really hard. So I don't know if it just aged poorly or I don't know if it's for something else, but I can't imagine putting that on your skin. It's really like hard, but maybe that's how brushes were before they, you know, became what they are now. I don't know. And it just, I really like the stone though on this one. I think that's cool. And then I just close it up and it's a little contained collection. Okay. So if you enjoyed this video, I'd love it if you'd click on this video, give it a watch. I think you'd enjoy it. And I will see you in my next one. Thanks so much for watching. Bye.